I just had a YouTuber send me a video about his Tecumseh snowblower engine. If you include a video with your question, it's always easier for me to respond to it because I know exactly what's going on if you show me. What's happening with this YouTuber snowblower engine is when he moves this throttle lever here, this mechanism here which holds the linkage that goes to the governor goes right under here and hooks up on this side here of the governor arm. So this is the linkage here we're talking about. Now what's happening is, like I said, when he moves it, nothing happens here. So he puts up the throttle and this thing here just stays over here like that, like nothing happens. The reason for that is because the spring inside here is more than likely broken. Now I had a spare one kicking around in my spare parts, so I thought I'd show you on a mechanism that is off the snowblower so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So this is the position that the unit is on the snowblower and you've got this spring here that is clamped up here as you can see like this. The spring goes down, it winds around the shaft here and then there's like a Z-bend and it goes through this hole here and over here and it's hooked up and that's what creates the pressure on the spring. It could be that the YouTuber's spring here is simply disconnected from here. Now I'm not sure if Tecumseh sells just the spring. From what I heard sometimes they'll sell you the whole mechanism with the spring in there. But here's how to remove that spring. You just simply disconnect it from over here. Then you roll it around like this. And then loop it right around there. Now you can see the other end of the spring is in this hole here. There's like a Z-bend. This is how the spring would come out. Now if your mechanism is not working, more than likely your spring's broken down here somewhere. And that's why the mechanism here isn't moving when you throttle up. So now if you buy a new spring, this is what it's going to look like. You want to start by inserting the bottom end of the spring here into this hole over here just like this and then move it like that now what you have to do is wind the spring around the shaft in here so I'm going to hold the spring down right here like that I'm going to go right around like this bring it underneath this lever now once you've got this end of the spring underneath the mechanism you want to insert the part with the Z-bend right in the center here just like that. So now if it was on the snowblower it would be like this, you go to throttle up and it's going to move. Last good look at it it's going to be in this position the other end is hooked into the hole at the bottom here and it only loops around the shaft here once and here it is on the snowblower you can see the spring right there the linkage goes on the second hole from the top at the front here this linkage here goes on the far side of the governor arm this other linkage here goes to the carburetor on the far hole to the back. So here's a better view of it. It's very important that you put all these back in their proper positions. So double check that all your linkages are in the right place. Check the spring and go from there. So I'm hoping that this answered your question. If it doesn't, just email me again with extra pictures and that. But I believe that your spring is broken. And thanks again for sending the video along with your question. It does make it a lot easier to answer these questions. Take care.